hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be making this bustier top with queen Anne's neckline with a 720 flare if this is something you're interested in then let's get started for this tutorial i'll be using this ankara fabric so i have already drafted out my back pattern my front and back pattern so this is the back pattern so what I did was to measure one and a half for my zip allowance before me taking out any other measurements. So for the back, my half length is 16 inches and I added half an inch for sewing allowance. The reason why the zip allowance is one and a half is because I'm going to use half inch to turn it, then one inch for my zip allowance. So right now I'm trying to eliminate the bulginess that do happen at the back. I don't want that to be here. So I'm going to mark one inch by my waistline. I'm going to mark it, then connect it from the neckline to the waistline. so i'm going to replace the one inch i took by the zip allowance i'm going to replace it back to my waistline after that i'll go ahead and connect it to my bust line once i'm done with that i'll go ahead and cut out my pattern This is the front pattern that I'll be using for the bustier top. I already measured my shoulder line, my bust line, my under bust, and my waistline, then half an inch for the sewing allowance. From my shoulder line to my bust line is about 10 inches. From my shoulder line to my under bust is 13 and a half, while my half length is 16 inches plus half an inch sewing allowance. Next, I'm going to do is to mark half of my nipple to nipple point. Half of my nipple to nipple point is three and a half. I'm going to mark it on my bust line and my waistline. Then I'm going to join it together. Then on my shoulder, I'm going to get half of my measurement, which is 2.5. I'm going to mark it, then connect it to that point. On the side going towards the center front, I'm going to mark half of an inch on the waistline and on the Honda bust. Then on the side going towards the side seam, I'm going to mark one and a half on the Honda bust and on the waistline. Then I'm going to connect them together. On my bust line, I'll be going down by one inch. After that, I'm going to connect them with a curve rule. The next thing I'm going to do is to measure where I want my neckline to be right here. I made my neckline 7 inches, so I marked it and I joined them with a straight line. On the side going towards the ham hole, I'm going to mark 3 quarter of an inch, that's 0 0.7 inch. Then on the side going towards the center front, I'm going to mark 1 inch. Then I'm going to connect them to that point right here, the 1 inch I went down by on the bust line. The next thing to do is to draw out my sweetheart neckline. So I'm just going to take my curve rule and go down by about one and a half or let's say one inch. I'm going to go down by one inch and just draw it out. The next thing I'm going to do is to draw a slant line from my shoulder to the side going towards the ham hole. I'm just going to leave about half of an inch from that joining. Then I'm going to connect it to my shoulder using a slant line. This is just to get that coin hand neckline. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to mark quarter of my bust measurement. Then I'll go back to that point. Whatever measurement I get, I'm going to replace it back on my bust on my chest line. I'm going to mark it. Then I'll add one and a half inches for sewing allowance. After that, I'm going to mark half of my ham hole measurement. I'm going to get the midpoint. Then I'm going to go in by half of an inch. Then I'm going to connect. I'm going to draw out my ham hole. Then I'm going to connect the point towards the ham hole. Then on my waistline, I'm going to mark quarter of my waist measurement. Then measure the dart intake. Whatever I get there, I'm going to replace it on my waistline. Then I'm going to add one and a half inch for sewing allowance. After that, I'll be connecting my chest line to my waistline. After I'm done taking out all my measurements, I'll go ahead and cut out my bust here pattern with coin hand neckline. Then 
This is what it looks like once I was done cutting hair written. So guys, I've gone ahead to cut this out on my Ankara fabric. So I added half of an inch to all those parts that you're seeing. I had a sewing allowance to the shoulder, then this side seam. I did not had sewing allowance to that on that part. I've also cut out my lining too. So I actually just added a stay on my Ankara fabric. I did not add word into it. I don't want to add word into it. I don't want it to be bulky. I don't know. Because it's just a top, I don't want it to be bulky. So I'm just going to pin it up and then stitch it together. I'll be doing the same for the lining and that upper part. I actually forgot to cut out lining for this. So I'm going to cut out lining then sew it up. For some reason, I also added este on the back fabric. Please, you don't have to do this. This is totally not necessary. So I'm going to stitch it up by joining the neckline, the zip line and the side seam. The next thing I'm going to do is to cut out my 720 degree flare. So because I just have pieces of this, I'm going to be cutting four pieces of the flare. For you that you have your normal fabric, it's just two that you're going to cut out. So all you have to do is to fold like you normally do if you're cutting a flare. Fold it into four pieces. So right here I have four pieces. To get the formula for this, all you have to do is to divide your waist your waist circumference by 6.28 my waist circumference is 28 then i added two inches to it for zip allowance that is 30 inches so i'm going to divide that by by 6.28 so guys whatever you get you're going to divide it again by two so that is what you're going to mark on your first flare so right here i'm just trying to get the length of my flare what i did was to just take out 16 inches from the length of my desired top so i want my top to be um 23 inches all i did was to take out 16 from 23 so i think i got um seven so i just made this around eight inches or so so I'm just going to mark it. I'm just going to mark it all the way around. So all I did was to add the 2.5 inches I marked to my 8 inches. That is, that makes it 10.5. So I'm going to mark 10.5 all the way around of my Ankara fabric. Once I'm done taking all my measurements, I'll go ahead and cut it out. Like I said, I'm going to be cutting two pieces of this. So guys, I've already cut out my lining and my hanker fabric. So mine is four pieces because I don't have enough fabric. So I just had to cut it into four. But if you are going to cut yours, it's just going to be two pieces. You don't need to cut yours into four pieces. So I'm just going to open them up so that I can join them. All you have to do is open one side of your flare to join it together. I've gone ahead to add interface on the Ankara fabric, so I'm going to go ahead and join it now. So guys, this is what the bustier looks like once I was done joining it. This is what this part of the shoulder looks like. I've gone ahead to add lining to it and I also top stitch it. Right here, I'm just trying to get where to place the shoulder. So I'm going to measure it and then just pin it down on my bust here. I'll be attaching my lining once I'm done with that. This is what it looks like after I was done attaching my lining. So I'm going to stitch my shoulders together, my front and my back fabric together. I'm also going to join the side after that. Once I'm done with all of that, the next thing for me to do is to attach my flare to it. Then I'm going to add zip and also I want I to add sleeve off camera. So guys, this is what it looks like once I was done. 
thank you for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel bye